Hi, this is the Bitmage. Uh, welcome back to another video. Today, yeah, first of all, uh, thanks for the 200 subs. Uh, we are 200 strong now, and uh, appreciate the appreciate the subs. Uh, like that you guys are liking the content. Uh, today, we're going to talk about GNU Sto. Uh, GNU is uh, GNU, not Unix. So that's GNU, not Unix. Uh, recursive uh, abbreviations are great and all. Probably could have a video on that sometime another. Some some other time, but then for now we're talking about Sto. Uh, for the past videos, a couple of guys have been asking me for my configuration files, and uh, for the longest of times I wasn't uh, able to share them appropriately in appropriate manner because I do not store them in a disciplined manner. So I just spent some time and uh, yeah, looked into new Sto. So what it allows you to do is uh, store your configuration files. In a single folder. This video is going to be a quick dive into. Yeah, let me get the cursor out of the way. Uh, this video is going to be a quick uh, dive uh, into uh, how you can manage your configuration files uh, with secrets. So, uh, a major reason for uh, why I was not uh, posting my. Uh, configs was uh, there are a couple of API keys here and there that I was like too lazy to weed out before I push them on a github github repository right now I do have a repository I you should find that uh, in the link in the description but then uh, let's get started so uh, with new store I, I by the way I can actually uh, draw stuff now I hope you can see that on the screen so we're gonna start getting a little fancy and smooth uh, today you see I'm not there in Emacs, but then what we're gonna do is uh, show you how to store the configuration of Emacs. So your Emacs uh, config files are generally uh, stored in uh, your .emacs.d directory. Or if you're a config person, if you've got an XDG config home setup, it'll probably be stored in .config slash Emacs. But then if you're a Doom person, you don't want to store, you don't want to back that up. You just go to .config slash Doom. So these are my configuration files. And here you probably see that I've got five files. Uh, there's a secrets.el that I'm like smart enough not to open out here. I'm not gonna cat that. But then an LL showed, shows that these are uh, similar uh, symbolic links, links to other files. And these links were not manually created, but then they were created by new store in a very convenient manner. So uh, let's just, let's just uh, open up, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, let's just see uh, config config.el right now. Yeah, config.el. So it's pointing to a directory. Oh, it's pointing to the file uh, the dot files uh, directory in my home page. And that particular dot files directory is where you can store away all your config files. So let's get into that. Dot dot files. Okay, here you see I've got all my all my packages out there so i i use uh, alacrity bash doom and vim i've got some nvim stuff as well uh the steamux as well so we're going to focus on doom uh the structure of uh new stores how it stores away stuff is pretty tricky so i'm just gonna like draw it out you got your base dot files yeah you got your base dot files directory okay that's bad let's let's stick to non-cursive stuff you you got your base dot files okay yeah i i, I do need a lot of practice and uh, inside that you got several packages so you can have your uh nvim doom uh emacs if you're into vanilla emacs tmax whatever so let's just say we're into the doom package now this is where you'll have uh similar part directories to what would actually your configs would have stayed in in the home directory so for example if your emacs files are stored in dot uh, config slash doom in the doom package in your dot files you will have a dot config config slash slash doom and inside that you have you'll have your several other files uh, well, that's a lot of talk. Let's get into the practical of it. I'm going to create a sample file now. Okay, 
So let's say uh, right now I am in my dot files. I go to my doom. This is the package level stuff. Uh, there is no correlation to what uh, new store will do with your home directory up until now. From here onwards, whatever directory structure you have, so I've got a dot config. It's a hidden folder, so hidden directory, so you can't see it with an ls. You probably need to do an ll or a, an lse. Uh, so the directory structures in here, yeah, dot config slash doom is what will be replicated as symbolic links in your home directory. So with new store, uh, the reference directory, the relative directory from which it stores everything is the directory just above your dot files, your dot dot files to say. So for example, now let me just uh, create a sample directory, doom. Let's just touch uh, a sample.el. Now sample.el is uh, empty. Uh, let's just write something in sample.el. This is just a sample. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's just excuse that. Yeah. This is just a sample. Uh, and now what you have to do is once you have a file like that, you go to your package level arena and you can just store that particular package. So I want to store Doom, it's stored it away. Now, if you want to actually go to the path where it actually should have been stored, I go into config and Doom and I should have a sample here. If I do an LL, my sample.el is uh, stored away as a symbolic link in my dot files if you see that particular link out there and if you do open that here you can just uh, normally work out uh, uh, with whatever you added from your usual path as well you will see what's it out there because it's just a symbolic is going to open that file and whatever edits you make with whatever shortcuts you have with the hard-coded paths anywhere they will still work so not an issue all your tools will still work that's that's the gist of new store that's all that you need to know about it and once you have that you can just get it like get whatever you want to do with it right now there should be a yeah a new sample.el i don't want to add that so i'm not going to add that and then later on you could just yeah you could just uh post that to your repository and share it uh i am going to open yeah I am going to open up where I store my directories, uh, where I store my uh, dot files. Yeah, I am going to share that in the description. Yep, there we are. So that's what I did. Uh, yeah, you just you just store them away. This is something. This is some of the somewhat of a quick video. So yeah, none none of the usual things that I do. Trying out something new. So. All the guys that have been asking for my dot files, my doom dot files, they're out here. Uh, yeah, you should find everything. I'm not gonna share my secrets.el well for obvious reasons. So I just, if you wanna like load your secrets, you can just load your secrets in here, uh, and then use them as your environment variables or whatever. I use them in a particular fashion. So how do I use them? Let me see. Let me find an example. Where am I doing that? Yeah, I've got my open AI keys somewhere. Yeah, that's what I do. So there's that. Even with your bash stuff, uh, uh, my exports in my bash configs. Yeah, I've separated it out. So my bash RC exports a bunch of uh, other areas. There's alias, there's functs, there's exports, and there's secrets. I do not upload the secrets. So you keep the secrets as a real file on uh, on your on on your own local system, and you do not push that to your Git repository for obvious reasons. So right now. Yeah. If I do an LL grab bash, I've got all my bash alias, uh, RCs, everything symlinked into the dot files uh, repository and a bash secrets that I'm not going to open for very obvious reasons. I have to say that again and again. Uh, yeah, that can actually conveniently just be stored away. Uh, not stored away. S T O R E D stored away than the stored away things. So that's it for today. Today was a quick one. This link should be in the description. Now you should have my dot files and uh, 
we can probably start communicating better in terms of uh, how you can actually configure Emacs. This was a quick one and I uh, hope you liked it. So see you in the next one. Thanks.